Please remind him. Mr. Matthew Adabuga, um, you have come to this commission in order for Mr. Riyad Hosaifer to cross-examine you. But the other time when, before you gave evidence, you swore for that matter, you are reminded of your former oath. Malaw witness reminded of his former oath. All right. Thank you, Speaker. Mr. Hosaifer, you may put your questions. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Adabuga, yeah. you know me? Yes. Do you what, also know me? What is my name? You are called Riyad. Riyad. Yeah. What is my second name? Uh, Hozafe. Hozafe, that's fine. Uh, you stated to the commission here that uh, I, Riyad, have been taking you around to show you some Asians. Yes. Can you tell me what you mean by Asians? Who are Asians? When I'm talking about Asians, I mean uh, uh, Lebanese, Syrians, I mean uh, Indians, and, and so on and so forth. Lebanese, Syrians? Yeah. Okay. So this is what you think Asians are. They are Lebanese and Syrians. Not only that, but uh, part of them. I mean, they come from Asia. Don't you know the mean Asia? Uh, I would like to ask you, you stated in your testimony to the commission, one name, Wallace Bedema. Who is that? He was the chief operation officer. What is his rank? Major. Major. Isn't it Normal, normally, a soldier, when addressing an officer or calling an officer names, he calls his rank. Can we go to the point, please? This is the point. I mean, why didn't you use the major's rank? Just call him Wallace Bedema. That's not important. Call it's very important because I believe you, are in the, you were in the armed forces which taught you discipline. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll have to point out to you that you have 30 minutes for your cross-examination. Yes, sir. Yes. So please try and use it usefully so you don't complain later on. You didn't have enough time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right. Carry on. 30 minutes. 10.30, you have to stop. Uh, you told the commission that I have been taking you around to show you Asians together with Wallace Bedema. Is that true? That is not true. I'm saying that Wallace Bedema, being the chief operation officer, he was directing the operations, and you were the one giving us uh, the tips as to where to locate these people. All right. I would like to come to my point. You stated, too, in your testimony... You said he would go and point the houses of those people who were hoarding this gold and diamonds. Is that correct? Yes. Fair enough. If those people, they were hoarding gold and diamond, why should you tell this commission that uh, Wallace Bedema and myself, we had to go to Bank of Ghana to get some samples what I am saying is that uh, hoarding in this sense means they were dealing in illegal trading. That's what I mean. And uh, to be able to buy it from them, you need a front man who pulls as uh, somebody who is selling uh, this gold and diamond. And in the process, we pounce on them and then sell their houses. Is that not correct? Answer your question. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. Uh, when, when it's my time, I'll speak for myself, please. Um, you see, it doesn't make sense to me. When you are saying that we bo you bounce on them and you, find, you search them and you find gold. So what is the use of getting gold from, and diamonds from uh, Bank of Ghana to set a trap for them? 
Well, I, I don't see any sense in that. We need an exhibit because uh, it's, uh, some of the people you told us to go and search their house, houses, we found out that uh, uh, you had a bone to pick with them and that they were not having anything like gold or diamond. So in order to be able to ascertain the fact, we have to post a front man and in the process, we know that this is exactly the tree they are dealing in. I've answered you. Uh, Adabuga, how many people would you allege or claim that I took you to? How many? Well, they are numerous because... Give me a number. Minus, plus, any figure. Can you give me? Maybe ten or more. But ten uh, or more? Yes. Please, could you name me two? The first one was the Iranian brothers. Who? Iranian brothers. Do you Iranian remember? brothers? Yes. Who sent us there? Do you remember? Even we seized the Anizam patrol. <laughs> we see, do you remember we seized the Anizam patrol? Am I right? Do you know John Asi? Do you I'm know Asuka Jamel? I'm asking you a question. Do you know Farah? You see, I should name some. I'm I, naming more than okay. two. John Asi? Yeah. And uh, Irani Brothers? Farah. You know one man called Farah? No. Do you know one man called uh, Asuka Jamel? No. You don't know? No. Okay. You could furnish those names to the commission for the commission to verify with those people what you are saying or for them to come and give, testify before this commission if I ever went with you or took a penny from them to have them released or anything. What I'm saying is that after showing us those houses, you don't appear there. So they will not know that you are the one who was uh, ditching them. Adabuga, uh, where, do you, where are you now? Norway. Uh, Norway? Yeah. Are you married? Yes. Do you have children? Please, let's, we are talking about gold now. What are you going to, uh, to my family for? Yes. Let's talk about this matter and finish. It is not finished. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's... Let me speak to the commission one. It's my turn, please. You are only here to answer questions. So do not ask me what to do, what... The, and don't just, ask me of my family matter because this is not what I'm here for. I see. Uh, I would like to ask you, you have killed some civilians, children, with your mawak. Is that true? That is wrong. <laughs> you have killed a border guard official, isn't that? That is wrong. You want to... Tell this commission, you have never killed anybody? If I've ever killed, then it was sanctioned by your boss, Fly Lieutenant Rollins. It, it was what? It was sanctioned by him. Sanctioned by? Rollins, Fly Lieutenant Rollins. Let him come here and answer that. Uh, Adabuga, I'm sorry. I hope the chairman will not be upset with what I'm about to tell you. Are, you. are you Christian? I saw you swearing with the cross. Are you a Christian? Yes, what about you? Are you a Muslim? I'm a Muslim. Do you fear God? Yes, what about you? Do you fear Allah? Inshallah. I do fear Allah. Okay, I also fear God. You fear God? Yes. Then Let one day, yeah. you and I, we shall meet before God. Yeah. And you will have your day. I haven't finished with you. Do you remember sending us to Tessano Club? Every evening we meet there and then you who pick the trail from there and go to these people's houses. Is it right or wrong? Uh, Adabuka, you are not here to ask me questions. I'm the one to ask you questions. But, but I'm, let me tell I'm you. helping you. I'm helping you to get to the point. Adabuga, you just came to this commission just to lie. You, uh, sir, I'm very sorry, but I have to say this. You have been sentenced in absentia uh, by death or firing squad yes. because you were a criminal. What criminal? You were photographing people and videoing people for them to be executed. Is it more criminal than that? You think so? You stand there and uh, video it, what, people what crime and is... then you, they torture them and kill them and then you go and sleep. Sir, is, it is, normal? This, is this fair? We can go on with this exchange, sir. But ah, you are bringing the matter, so let's I'm go. just asking the chairman. Can we continue, sir? When I interrupt you, you always complain. So I'm, I'm giving you free range to Thank do you what you like. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, sir. 
at Abuja. The other day, a lady came here, which you yourself, you were driving a Mowak. You killed her children at Labadi. And I heard her story. Have you said to question yourself, to have mercy, to stand and look for those people and say, I am sorry? I am saying that if I haven't done that, then, Mr. Chairman, you can uh, correct me. I stand for correction. Whatever I did, I came before the commission and I told them this is what happened. It was an accident. I didn't just drive to, on them. And I'm telling you, it wasn't a muak. It was a pinsgua. So you see that you are a liar. Uh, Adabuga, you are a criminal and a petty liar. And as I said, a day will come. You will have your punishment. Even by me discussing with you, you're too low for me. I ride high. I could not be taken anywhere. You will give your evidence. Yes, please. sir. I am not low. You, uh, Lebanese, I've been to your country for Middle East operations. Do you think anybody can go to Lebanon and do what you did here? You were not having any official position with the PNDC. You were not a soldier. I'm not asking you. You were not a lawyer. You were not a politician. You just came in. You had a, a, a stanza by yourself, a bodyguard and a pistol. You remember your Yamposa? And your job was to inform on your fellow Lebanese. If you were in Lebanon, you would have been a dead man by now. You are lucky to be alive. And I, I hope they are listening. The Asians, you are a traitor to them. Adabuga, and you are a traitor to the Ghanaian people. You are a liar. People. You are just a liar. Somebody must have taught you to come and speak. A person of your caliber, you will rot in hell, I'm telling you. And you will rot in Guyana. No problem, man. We shall see. Right on, brother. Inshallah. Inshallah. You can do so nothing. So no further question, please. Okay, we'll meet outside. Right. Thank you very much. Thank if you. you are strong, let's meet outside. <laughs> I'll show you. Uh, all right. Uh, Mr. Adabuga. Yes, sir. Uh, we thank you for coming to the commission and making yourselves available to, for cross-examination. Thank you, sir. We know that you came at your own expense. And yes, uh, I'm happy that you were able to come. If you hadn't come all sorts of things would have been said, that you were running away, that all your evidence was false, but at least you've come, and uh, if I may say so, you've acquitted yourself very well under cross-examination. Thank you, We sir. thank you for coming. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Hosefer, do you wish to give evidence? Yes, sir. Yes. Get, get in. Yes. Oh, oh uh, bring him his favorite chair, please. He has his own chair. Bring, bring it. Please after me. I, I Riyad Hosaife, swear by the Almighty God, swear by the Almighty God that, the evidence, that the evidence I shall give, I shall give before this commission, before this commission shall be the truth, shall be the truth, the whole truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. Well, yes. that's okay in English. Yes. Please try and confine yourself to the allegations made against you by by Mr. Uh, Adabuga. Yes, sir. You've been here several times and you yes, give sir. evidence about other aspects. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Uh, Council, uh, please go on. Uh, give your full name to the commission. Riyad Hosaifi. What work do you do now? <laughs> I'm unemployed, sir. Where do you live? Airport residentials. You heard the evidence of Ms. Corporal Adabuga. What is your response to that? My response, first of all, please, with all respect to please, this commission. you don't have to read Pardon? editing. You don't have to read. I, you I'm not reading, sir. You know, because you are holding the book. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm okay. not reading. So give your response yes, to sir. the commissioners. Uh, this gentleman, there is some document with me here. He was sentenced to death because... His activities, his criminal activities, he has killed innocent people. Uh, that that, that uh, proceedings, please hand it over to our, our people to check on it. The proceedings, you say, 
Uh, uh, where, where he was sentenced, we already know about it, but still, let's have a look at it. Please hand it over to this gentleman who is by you uh, to show it to the lawyer. Please see whether it's certified, Mr. Mingle. Check whether it's certified. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, it's not certified. Well, you can't refer to it. But, I mean, go, go, on, go on with your evidence, please. Mr. Chairman, my only interest of coming to, to this commission, this is my sixth uh, trip to this commission, is to, to in, enlighten or to tell the truth to this commission for the people of Ghana to hear the truth. I, this is why I always plead for ample of time or for uh, a chance for me to explain what took place. A person like this character, sir, as you can see, his action tells for itself. He's out of the country. He has run away. And uh, you, I mean, the, the commission knows about his sentence, sir. He was given amnesty. It breaks my heart to know such a character to be given amnesty to, for, for his victims to have seen him in town here. It break my heart for them. I, I've been always in Ghana. I haven't left Ghana. I have nothing to be ashamed of. Mr. Riyad, I thought you were going to respond to the specific allegation made, made against you about yes. the Lebanese. Yes, sir. First of all, okay, sir. Uh, you can see from his evidence, he doesn't know uh, Asians from Lebanese. Uh, and I would like this commission to contact those names he mentioned, and I dare him, and I stand by if one would come forward and testify to this person, you know, my Lord. It's, it's, um, I have not, all what he said, it's a lie, it's false. I have not done so. I would not have done so. It is against my principle. It is against the trust from my fellow friends who entrusted me, who were working with me in this revolution. I would not let them down. Such characters, um, they, are, they are way below me, sir. And as I said, sir, I... All his allegations that I took him, I mean, this is what he said and said about, uh, I believe he was Major Wallace Bedema. It's all false lies. You could, this commission could check with the Bank of Ghana if ever we took any samples as he claims. It could be verified. I deny all his charges as lies fabrication, and he was um, coach to have come to say what he said. Um, that, that's, that, that's all. Is that's it? all. Thank you. Um, Riyad, uh, I think you've been very helpful coming here. You said this is the sixth time. Yes, madam. Yeah. I have no question for you, but I think a little bit of humility helps, you know. Nobody is below anybody. God created us all in his own image. And if you think you are so superior, I think the best thing is to show that you are humble enough not to look down on other people. That's just a little advice for you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind words, Madam. I am a humble person. My religion uh, asks of me to be humble, and I do, but I cannot be humble to a person who is dripping with blood, Madam. That's my problem. 
Well, thank you, Mr. Hosaife, for, for coming to the commission. You may leave us now. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, please call number two on the list. Number two, please. a funny believer in democracy, never took kindly to the overthrow of his government, not the the incompetent manner in which he handled the affairs of this country. My colleagues and I, we need evidence to show that since the 13th January 1972, Dr. Bouzia has persistently indulged in acts of protection against Ghana. The object of the Bouzia's endeavors is quite obvious. It was aimed at restoring himself and his government in power. The question may be put, how could he achieve this when he was outside this country? Mr. President, it would appear that this was no problem to Dr. Bouzia, for he conceived of a plan through diverse ways to infiltrate the Ghana Armed Forces with a view to securing the assistance of some members for the execution of his diabolical plan. It is significant to note that in furtherance of his objective, Dr. Buzia from his hideout solicited through various means the support of some members of the Ghana Armed Forces, businessmen, and some intellectuals.